All right, y'all, we just have some powdered donuts here. I love these. If you don't like powdered donuts, I can't be your friend, okay? All right, we're just gonna arrange these at the bottom of the pan. I already greased this baking dish. Next, cherries. Cherries, I love these. They're so good. And you know what? We're gonna use two here. So we're just gonna cover the top of these donuts with the cherries. And the most important part, y'all, you gotta get all this goodness out. This gel stuff, it is so good. You know what, I need to write to this company and just get a recipe for this gel. Because if y'all know, let me know, because this gel is the best part. I'm telling you, it's the best part of these canned cherries. I don't know, it reminds me when I was a kid. My grandma would make cherry pie and I would just like squish out the gel stuff and eat it. So good. All right, so it don't have to be perfect, but we're just gonna spread these out so they're kind of covering all the donuts. And if they're not covering them all, that's totally fine. Just mostly like that, that looks so good. All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon here, ground cinnamon, a little bit on top. Cherries and cinnamon, y'all, if you didn't know that, it, it is real good together. Now my secret ingredient for all my desserts is sea salt. I have this beautiful sea salt here. I actually got it in Mexico when I was on vacation, but you can use whatever kind of sea salt you'd like. And I'm telling you, it brings out those flavors in your desserts so, so well. All right, so after this, we have a can here of sweetened condensed milk. Now this stuff, this, this is about a dollar a can. This is a must have in my kitchen. It is so good on desserts. And most people don't know all the uses for it. So we're just going to drizzle, drizzle this all the way around our cherries. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is looking so good. I'm so excited. All right. I'm just going to put the rest on like so. That's looking great. Look at that. It's so thick. I just love it. It's so good. All right. That's perfect. So next... We're gonna take here, so we're gonna make a topping, okay, y'all? So this is already gonna be an amazing dessert, but the kicker, the best part here, we're gonna take a box of this super moist yellow cake mix, okay? This is so good. So we're gonna dump this in our bowl right here, the whole box, the whole box. We don't need the bag, okay? It's coming out though, there we go. All right. Now, I have a can here of Perrier sparkling water. I'm using the strawberry. You know, I have some lime in my fridge, but I feel like for this recipe, strawberry's gonna work better. I gotta get this can open. These long nails sometimes be really hard to work with in the kitchen. So we're gonna take our can of Perrier, and we're just gonna pour it right on top of our cake mix, like so. Y'all, I am so excited to show you. So once we have our, our whole can of the strawberry Perrier, next, right here, we have a banana. Okay, so we need a binder in this, and this is what's gonna really help this, this cake topping work. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this banana out of its peel, and we're just gonna smush it. All right, and I know, I know again, y'all out there telling me to wear gloves in my own kitchen, but I'm just not gonna do it, all right? So we're gonna smash this banana right inside, and then what we're gonna do is mixy mix. We're gonna mix this up, just like so. Oh wow, this is looking so cool already, y'all. Now that that's all mixed, we're gonna move this over. All right, I'm gonna get my whisk out here. And then, all we're gonna do here, we're gonna pour this right on top of our delicious dessert. Look at this, y'all. This is looking so good, wow. I am so excited, y'all. You have no idea how excited I am to eat this delicious dessert. So we got cherries, we got bananas, we got some powdered donuts, we got a cake mix here that has some uh, Perrier sparkling water. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get this all out. Perfect. All right. So we have one more final step here, y'all. And you know what? If it's peeking out a little bit like that, it's totally fine. I think it's just fine. We need some color on this dessert, y'all. I like things that look pretty and it don't look pretty right now. So we're gonna sprinkle some of these beautiful, colorful sprinkles right on top. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm getting so excited. I need some water. All right, so we're putting this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes, y'all. I am so excited to show y'all this delicious dessert. All right, y'all, so here we have that delicious cake we made. We used those uh, cherries, those powdered donuts, and remember, we used that box cake mix on top that we mixed with a package of our um, Perrier, strawberry Perrier. 
So we're just gonna cut some. So remember, we also use that condensed milk. So that's gonna be a little bit liquidy inside here still. I'm just gonna scoop up some of this. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at that. Oh, this is gonna be so good. It's still hot. And I took this out of the oven like 25 minutes ago. All right, we're just gonna slide this right over here. Y'all, I am so excited to eat this. Look at that, that condensed milk. We have our cake cooked perfectly. Look at that, nice and airy. So I'm gonna get a piece of this donut. I'm gonna get some of these cherries. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be so good. I am so excited. It's gonna be hot though. I hope I don't burn my tongue. Mmm. So good.